horrifying pattern. Once again, school children gunned down by one man, firing a handgun, possibly a long gun, murdering kids in grades two, three, and four at school. This time in Uvalde, Texas, a small city. Parents scrambling to get information to find their young sons and daughters in the chaos, or trying to absorb the shock that their kids may be gone forever. My heart was broken today. We're a small community, and we will need your prayers to get us through this. Rob Elementary was surrounded by investigators. The suspected shooter is dead, possibly killed by police. He lived in Uvalde, says the Texas governor. The shooter was uh, Salvador Romas, uh, an 18-year-old male who resided in Uvalde. Uh, it's believed that he abandoned his vehicle and entered into uh, the Robb Elementary School in New Valley with, with a handgun, and he may have also had a rifle, but that is not yet confirmed. Multiple reports say Ramos shot his grandmother before driving towards the school. A state senator says he legally bought two assault rifles on his 18th birthday. But still unknown, what triggered a young man to murder kids in class, and why does it keep happening? This only happens in this country and nowhere else. Nowhere else do little kids go to school thinking that they might be shot that day. Nowhere else do parents have to talk to their kids, as I have had to do, about why they got locked into a bathroom and told to be quiet for five minutes just in case a bad man entered that building. Nowhere else does that happen except here in the United States of America, and it is a choice. It is our choice to let it continue. Flags in Washington were lowered again for the second time in two weeks. President Biden condemned a mass shooting. As a nation, we have to ask, when in God's name are we going to stand up to the gun lobby? When in God's name we do what we all know in our gut needs to be done? But America seems powerless to curtail gun violence. At least 30 shootings in U.S. schools so far this year. Now, Susan, this is a developing story. What more have you managed to find out? Well, we now know that that gunman crashed his truck into a ditch or a gully near the school and got out of the vehicle wearing body armor, carrying an assault rifle and a backpack. And there was some shooting before he headed towards the school, which raises a question about whether that elementary school was his intended target. We also know, of course, most of the victims are children, grades two, three, and four, but among those victims was their fourth grade teacher. Susan Ormiston, thank you very much.